Hey YouTube, I just wanted to quickly show you what I was working on here. This is uh, this is my solar lawnmower in the works. Um, I picked up this cordless Black & Decker mower um, online. It's an older model, um, so it's definitely used. Um, but it's a 12 volt, that's the reason I went for it. Um, it's just got a regular 12 volt rechargeable battery in it. Um, anyways, the idea uh, of it being solar is I'm going to charge it um, with the 40 watt solar panel that I picked up. Um, it's not installed, but you can see in my other videos where I've got my solar components uh, installed here. It's not quite finished. I don't have the panel up yet because I'm told I can't have it till Christmas time. So I'm holding off and in the meantime I'm keeping myself busy by building this uh, cordless mower. Um, I picked it up, uh, you know, for next to nothing and uh, it worked fine. I tried it, but the battery would only last about 10 minutes and then it would die out. So that was the reason they were selling it. So I need to find a battery that I can fit into this housing right here. Uh, this battery is kind of a rare find. It's six and a half by seven by five inches tall. So I can I have a little room to spare by cutting off some of the, the little tabs in here and maybe go seven by seven by five and that might work. So I'm gonna have to check out a battery shop. Um, I checked out the automotive stores where I live and there isn't anything that fits anywhere close to this size. So if I have to get you know, two half six, 12 volts and stick them side by side and wire them together. I'll do that. But uh, here's a little charge controller that's on it. You can see I've got it plugged in right now. It's charging up. This is the charge controller. It, uh, there was, the one that was on it wasn't working. The LEDs weren't working, but it was charging and I kind of liked having the lights. So I took the uh, charge controller out of my parts more. Yeah, I happened to find two of them online. So I picked this one up for parts and uh, it worked as well, but again, the battery wasn't very good, and out of the two lawnmowers, the other one, uh, this one here, is just in a little better shape overall, so I decided to go with this one, and i just kind of been taking this one apart. You can see the 12-volt uh, the motor here. It still works fine, but I just unplugged it. You can see the charge controller just, just had these little plugs on it, unplugged it. I took the battery out of here because it was crap as well. So I just wanted to see the ratings on it. It's, it turns out it's a... Uh, not sure if you can make it out or not. Here's the old battery out of that more. Using my phone so the uh, quality is not so good. You can sort of see down here. Maybe not. Anyhow, it's 12 volts. It's 24 amp hour uh, Black & Decker rechargeable battery. There's the other charge controller. I'm sure it works fine. I checked it with a voltmeter and everything and it kept the battery up and, and whatnot. But these, these lights would both come on and stay on. Which to me didn't seem quite right. So I just swapped it out and the little plug here is busted so it wasn't holding the charging cable. Um, <clears throat> the 40 watt panel that I do have um, is 40 watts and I think it's rated for 2.2 amps. Um, here's the charger that came with the mower. Um, 120 volts, 40 watts, here it says 1.7 amps. So it's, uh, it's just a trickle charger. It, uh, you know, it's it's rated for less than the solar panel on a good sunny day. So I'm hoping it won't take more than a day or two to charge this battery up as long as I don't flatten it completely dead. Maybe I'll just mow the fr front yard one day and do the, do the backyard at a different interval sort of thing. But anyways, I'm thinking, I don't know what's the best thing to do. To just take my charge charger here, plug it into my inverter, which is 75 watts, off the solar system and just charge the lawnmower that way or cut the cord off and plug it right directly into the solar panel and uh, let the charge controller do the work on the mower you can see it's kind of bouncing back and forth there it's pretty much charged because I've had it on for a while now but um, so I don't know I could just cut the end off this thing kind of undecided what the best way to go or just use that and uh, plug the mower directly into the solar setup. So, things to think about. There's the battery voltage in the lawnmower right now. It's 13.39. Um, it was just over 13 volts when I picked the mower up and it hadn't been used in, I don't think, all this season. It's kind of shoved to the back of their shed apparently. But, there you have it. It seems to work pretty good. Um, I cut a little bit of grass here. I mean, it's uh, the end of November, but there was a few few stubs sticking up that I could chop down with it and it worked worked pretty good. I've got this uh, 300 watt inverter that I'm going to wire up right on top of the mower here. And it will ride on top one way or the other. Anyways, 
I'll wire that right to the 12 volt battery and the reason to do that is so that when I'm up in the front yard I can get out my trimmer and uh, trim the front with the weed whacker instead of getting one of those cordless ones and charging it in here too I figure one less battery to replace every couple years is, is probably better because what are you really saving in when you're replacing these batteries and throwing them out and buying new batteries every couple of years I could buy you know a new battery probably cost me 40 bucks and that, that buys a lot of fuel for a gas weed whacker so I figure I'll just use the corded weed whacker plug it into the mower it'll run off that battery for probably quite a while and just recharge the mower when I need to so that's the plan anyhow um, I'll give you a quick uh, show you quickly at the mower how it works I don't know if you want to turn your volume down it might get a little noisy but you can hear how this old 12 volt mower runs got it up on the table here which isn't the smartest thing but I'll give you an idea for a second there you go works pretty good so maybe I can make use of that battery for something else it's not completely dead but it's not quite it's not good enough for this so anyhow that's my take on the uh, on the solar lawnmower and uh, once I get it all put together and that panel mounted up and a new battery put in I'll uh, I'll make a new video and show you how it works thanks for watching